You know, Bitcoin doesn't have to be reliant on, on oil or on dictators, not necessarily. It could, meaning there could be Bitcoin mining in various countries of different de democratic degrees, but it, it'll be done by all countries eventually, in my opinion. And if you think about what people like Jeff Booth talk about with technology deflation, um, and you look at the graphs of some of these charts of, of the cost of some different ways that humans have invented to take things and turn them into electricity. I mean, it's quite clear to me that in like 10 or 20 years, like there's just going to be a lot more renewables because they're going to be cheaper, not for any other reason. And Bitcoin miners are completely united in one thing, one thing only. They're only after the cheapest energy. That's it. That's really all they care about. And that's great. They're servants, loyal servants of the network, right? Um, now, that's going to lead them to do a lot of things. That's going to lead them to uh, use whatever energy is cheapest. And you know what? Around the world today, in a lot of cases, that's stranded geothermal. Look what's happening in El Salvador with volcanoes. Stranded hydro. Look what's happening in Virunga National Park in the DRC. It's, oh, what energy is cheapest in Texas? Well, solar and wind. So I've got friends who build these big campuses out there. Now, there's also going to be places where, for whatever reason, coal or natural gas are very cheap too. Some of that might be political, right? In China, essentially, a lot of the coal mining was like, essentially like, it was like corruption. It was like uh, people who had originally flocked to China to do Bitcoin mining for, uh, that was like sort of curtailed hydro. Like the Chinese government had just built up all this hydro energy over the last decade, way too much to use. And they weren't able to connect the transmission lines like soon enough. So they had all this sort of unused hydro and that's where that's why Bitcoin mining kind of started in China. But when the rainy season would like chill out and it would become more dry, those miners were like, okay, well, what do we do now? And then they like made deals with these like uh, coal plants and they basically got free energy. Uh, and that's not, that's a political phenomenon. That's like not, not necessarily the case. Like if you look at the price of energy, like around the world, in many areas, renewables is cheapest. And I think it's just going to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. 